In my 45 years of working in the area of tobacco control, I've not seen any other issue divide the tobacco control community as much as this one has, vaping. So we have really two groups. We have the group who are very much opposed to vaping because they see it as imposing huge risks on kids. On the other end of the spectrum, we see a, a number of researchers and members of the vaping community who believe that vaping is a great tool for helping people to get off of smoking. More than half of the public on surveys believes that vaping is as dangerous as or more dangerous than cigarette smoking. The major organizations that have studied this, like the National Academy of Sciences, Engineering and Medicine, have concluded that vaping is substantially less dangerous than smoking. One of the things that most people do not appreciate, it is burning tobacco, it is inhaling smoke, and specifically cigarette smoke that causes nearly all of the tobacco-related disease and death throughout the country and indeed throughout most of the world. I, like many of my colleagues, believe that as a public health community, we have gone overboard on emphasizing the risk to kids and downplayed the potential of vaping to help adults who are smokers to quit smoking. Everybody wants to keep nicotine and tobacco products out of the hands and indeed the mouths of kids. And everybody wants to help adult smokers to quit. So we need to come up with a mix of policies that will address both of these objectives. Here are some policies that are well worth considering. We should significantly raise excise taxes on cigarettes and other combusted tobacco products. At the same time, we should impose a more modest tax on e-cigarettes. This will serve to discourage youth from buying e-cigarettes or from vaping because they're the most price sensitive group when it comes to nicotine and tobacco products. But by having a big differential in price between now very expensive cigarettes and less expensive e-cigarettes, we're creating an incentive for adults to switch to e-cigarettes. Obviously, we want them to understand that e-cigarettes are not harmless and that ideally they should quit vaping at some point after they are completely off of cigarettes as well. Our group would recommend that there be no marketing permitted to any adolescents or young adults. We believe the message for adults should be restricted to one of switching and should basically encourage them that if they are not able to quit smoking otherwise, they should switch to e-cigarettes. It is extraordinary to look at the data over the years since vaping got introduced the American public's understanding of the risks of vaping has deteriorated over time. It has gotten worse. Larger and larger percentages of American adults now believe that vaping is as dangerous as or more dangerous than smoking, which could not be further from the truth. But that's a result of the messaging that has kind of leaked out into society as a whole. We're not managing to target messages to the right groups. Smokers share the belief that vaping is dangerous. We need to get the message to adult smokers that vaping is a viable alternative if they're not able to quit smoking otherwise. As we continue to try to keep cigarettes out of the hands and mouths of kids, we must never forget the people who are the current smokers, the adults, the ones who are at immediate jeopardy of disease and death. <laughs>